am Nick Boy and today I'm playing Monster Hunter Generations on the 3DS by Capcom. I have never played a Monster Hunter game. Everyone talks about them. I've never played it and given the popularity right now of Pokemon Go, I thought I'd go against type, try hunting a bigger game. And John wouldn't let me shoot it, so I figured I'd play this instead. Alright, let's dive in and take a look. Uh, of course, the lies the 3DS tells about graphics. Are they... are they her pets? Or are the humans the cat's pets? Is it Monster Hunter like we're hunting monsters? Or is it Monster Hunter like the monsters are hunters. animals just get along they're all so beautiful they like there's plenty of space for all of them and so far it always seems to be something on land fighting a dragon and I feel like the dragon always should win right <laughs> oh no oh it smells cat okay I obviously have no idea what's going on in this game so far the monsters are the only thing fighting monsters to hunt them. Just let them eradicate themselves. Just left them to die. them with his horn is that how it works uh, we're not fighting very well because our our weapons literally do not pierce the hide of this animal but thank god a cat is playing some music now we're good to go okay choose a name there we go. i own nick bot i meant to write nick boy but we're gonna roll with nick bot there we go there's my boy uh Nick Bud, looking fabulous. Got a tight man bun, uh, whatever he's wearing, and two beards. Let's go. Oh, he finally put clothes on, I see. So it was just the underwear that he was wearing. So it seems to be a village of cats who are all very self-involved. <laughs> okay, Burner Chief. I do not believe we've met before, Hunter. What brings you to our village here in the Highlands? I just want some air. I see you have come on an appointment from the Hunter's Guild to work for... Okay, it's one of those ones. You just answer your own questions. On behalf of Burner, let me welcome you, Hunter. I am chief of this humble village. Ours is a village rich with history, centered around the Wakademy, created long ago to research the origins of the mysterious ancient limestone structure at the base of the mountain here, the Wakademy is now one of the world's preeminent institutions on all manner of monster research, research and wakanics. And Burner, which was founded from small settlements, 
that cropped up around the Royal Academy <laughs> has walked hand in hand through history, the most illustrious of institutions. Okay, forgive me, you have not come here for a history lesson. You knew! You knew that's not why I'm here. Go introduce yourself to the chief researcher who will register your appointment as a Wacademy hunter. I really hope I'm saying Wacademy right, because I'm going to be saying it a lot throughout this. Do you reckon I'm saying Wacademy right? Maybe it's Wycademy, like as in Wyvens? Or is it Wivens? Wacademy? Wycademy? Wacademy. I'm going to stick with Wacademy. You'll find him further up the path. You should be able to recognize him by the white researcher's coat he wears. Oh, good lord. I can save the guest house. Inside, you will find an item box stocked with a selection of weapons. Use whichever one you think suits you. Welcome, stranger. Here's the best house in the middle of the village. Also, here's a box of guns. You'll also have your own personal housekeeper who can help you with a variety of other services. This is the best place I've ever been to. I have never turned up to a town where they've just given me home, housekeeper, weapons. Uh, okay, cool. So let's go find the researcher. That is a slow, molassesy walk. How do I speed this up? Uh, you look like you're wearing white robes. Talk to me about the academy. Ah, uh, you must be the new assistant the guild has dispatched for me. You're not quite as bookish as I expected. So the flirting begins. It's all right though. The academy is more than just about books and its study of monsters. Sometimes our research requires we go out into the thick of things and study monsters in their natural habitats. And that's where you'll come in, deputy researcher. You'll take care of the occupational hazards. I can't help it now. I've made a big mistake. It's in my brain. Also, please sign this liability waiver for lasting effects from fire, poison, paralysis, slime, mold, viruses. Now then, currently our efforts have been concerned on the Jurassic frontier and we're short-handed. There's still lots left to explore, so that's where you'll be going, deputy, pen in hand, and sword too, perhaps, I would hope. Do you see that large white building at the base of the mountain in the distance? Uh, yes. I see mainly the, m yeah, okay, yeah. I do. That's the Wacademy Research Facility. The Hunter's Hub, overseen by the Hunter's Guild, is just out in front of it. That makes Burner sort of a gateway for relations between the Wacademy and the Hunter's Guild. All right, don't need to know any of this. Look at me rambling on like I don't have reports to write and places to be. I'll take care of the paperwork, so in the meantime, why don't you go talk to the Burner Chief and see if he has any work for you? Why? Why didn't you just give this information to the Burner Chief in the first place? Burner Chief, Hunter, I've taken you spoken to the Chief Researcher. He should be able to handle all the paperwork. I know, he just said that. He just said he would handle all the paperwork. Now then, I imagine it will take some time before everything's squared away with the Wacademy. Till then, perhaps you could help me with a few quests. Yes, you could consider it a bit of a warm-up before officially starting your work as a Wacademy hunter. Once you're ready, you can visit the quest counter to accept quests. The quest counter is run by that young woman over there. She can be rather focused, but she means well. All right, don't care. Burner gal. She doesn't even get a name. And I'm just blocking her face entirely. <laughs> How funny, she's just a hand now. Hi, hi, hunter person. Welcome to our little patch of heaven. So you're here to become a Wacademy hunter. Hmm, well, you came to the right place. I know. I know, I know I did, because it's where I was sent. Did you know that burner means gateway to the Wacademy? I did know that as well. Even with all the blue skies, amazing cheesy cuisine, and adorable muffers, burner's PR is kind of lacking. Burner deserves to be positively buzzing with tourists. Just need to think of something that appeals to the masses. Well, maybe, maybe not just huts filled with guns. You see, I'm kind of, okay. It's so funny. Every one of these characters has started talking to me and then I go, I'm sick of you talking to me. And then the next thing they say is, look at me yapping on and on. They're all so self-aware that they talk too much. Maybe the writers could have taken some of that. Let me formally introduce myself. I'm the resident burner gal. I run the quest I didn't make it. We know all this! Quest counter, burner gal. Everyone has told me this stuff before. Wacademy. Why Academy? We don't know. We don't know for sure. I bet the chief sent you here uh, to have you set one up with a quest. Of course he did! If you have a quest, I got him! After you've accepted a quest, go to the quest gate and press A to take off. Keep in mind, once you accept a quest, you can't enter your house until you cancel the quest. Okay, so we got Find the Ferns, Dew for Dragon Ember, Medicinal Moths, Horns Aplenty, and Wipeout. 
Uh, so slay 10 Mikayo, deliver 3 horns, deliver 3 immortal moths, deliver 3 dragon ember pieces, deliver 8 ferns. I was gonna say let's do an exciting one and then we ended up on deliver 8 ferns. We'll slay. Let's slay 10 Macau. I gotta wipe out a whole population. It's a genocide. Make us proud out there. I will. Uh, okay, big tail, green, bad attitude, totally rude. Seems their alpha has skedaddled off somewhere, so now it's time to get rid of these pesky uh, pests. It's interesting, oh, there's a time limit. It's interesting, this game's much more light-hearted than I expected. Like, so the loading screens are all cute, that girl kept talking about wanting to run some sort of weird PR campaign. <laughs> So, I really have to... I know how to kick, I know how to crouch, and roll. There we go. There we go. Okay, I'm just gonna start attacking this thing. Wow, it didn't put up a fight at all. Oh no, it's getting back up! Die, die, die! Oh, it's twitching, that's horrible. Uh, so, do I get anything from that? Why are none of you noticing me? Oh god, it's mourning its friend. Oh no, it's humping the corpse! Run away. I don't... Why does it need to twitch so much? Uh, okay, how do I how do I harvest you for bits? There we go. Raw meat wasn't really what I was trying to get, right? What am I trying to build? What am I trying to get? Okay, maybe it's this thing that I'm killing. Oh yeah, absolute evasion. So that's like my dodge roll thing, uh, and then all these abilities are on cooldown. I'm worried about how circled I am by what appear to be baby raptors. Okay, finally. Oh, God, he got back up. Okay. So I killed five of them. So you see down the bottom here, I've got this map, and then those three uh, things on the right, they're my arts. So I've got Escape Runner, which I don't lose stamina when I run. Round Force was that big sort of whirling area of effect attack. And then Evasion means that I just dodge. Right, these areas are all split up into tiny little hubs. So every time I leave a little hub, I go into a new, a new zone. Uh, there seems to be no way to lock on to them, which is very annoying. Oh, I see. I took too long. And now you want a piece. I'll give you this. Not playing with the new 3DS means I don't have a second thumbstick. And so I need to reorient the camera manually with the D-pad, which is just awful. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, that was brutal. It's neat that it said I'm just going to return to town in 60 seconds, so I guess that's giving me enough time to gather my meats before it just auto-takes me back. Oh no, no meat, just fang! Alright, reward box! Oh nice! Take items, I'll take them all. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. So I've got a bunch of scales, some fangs, and power jelly! Power jelly, speed jelly, all the jellies. Uh, I got 300 Zeds for a total of 1800 Zeds. Is that because I got 1500 Zeds before? I think it is. Zenny earned? S Zenny. So Zed is Zenny. Okay, cool. So we got a bunch of Zenny that I can spend at the cafeteria at the Academy. Alright, let's leave it there. Okay, so that is Monster Hunter Generations. And it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I, I should say before I go on that the footage you're watching probably looks quite terrible. 
because we've had to blow it up to fill the screen. But on the 3DS, it actually looks rather nice. And I was not expecting that. When I think of Monster Hunter, I think of very big pixels, very jaggy things, sort of like dragon scales and these big swords that look very clunky and, and sort of poorly rendered. They all look very low poly count. This actually feels really nice. I, I particularly like the design of it. I think it's got this mix of Himalayan or Swiss Alp style mixed with American Indian, you know, use every part of the animal. I think we've got rugs on top of huts and all that sort of thing. I think, I think they've, they've really got a cool look to it, which I really appreciate. And when you go out and battle, even though I am battling in these small hubs where I fight these enemies and then I walk off and I follow what I think is a road and then suddenly I hit a loading screen and I'm in a new zone. It's not an open world like that. But when you are in these hubs, you get the sense of space around you that you go, oh, I do know that over there is the next space that I'm going to and I can see some trees and then I go there and it turns out to be a forest. And when I'm in the middle, even though I'm in something that's only about, you know, that big and I'm running around in there, it feels like I'm in something that's much bigger, which also is, is quite an accomplishment on something so small. I could tell that the game is huge and I know nothing about it. We skipped the tutorials because we went, there were sort of 15 to 20 tutorials and I just was kind of like, I can't go through all those right now. It's gonna take hours. And so we just went right into combat. The combat has a sort of MMO feel to it where I'm going out, I'm killing 10 of these things and just sort of grinding that out. But I don't know what makes it different to other JRPGs where I feel like this was more forgiving. Maybe it's because of the console that it's on, because it's on a 3DS. I go, this is something I'm doing while I'm doing something else, while I'm traveling somewhere, while I'm waiting for something. This isn't something that I'm sitting down and dedicating time to when I could be doing anything else. Also, I could just tell there's a heap to this game. There's not a lot of story set up at the beginning. I think it kind of assumes that you've played a Monster Hunter game before because I don't really know who I am or why I'm there beyond some very, very vague references to a Wakademy. Uh, but then I get this house. I have a bunch of weapons there that I can use straight away, but they affect the way that my arts work. When I go out there and I'm fighting something, my weapon gets damaged and then it, you know, it becomes less effective. So I don't know if I'm using the wrong weapon on an enemy or I'm using it in the wrong way or I just need to sharpen it. These are all questions that I have that uh, I probably need to go into a wiki to find answers to rather than just playing those tutorials. The series is huge in Japan and has quite a big cult following here in the West. Generations adds a bunch of new stuff to the formula. Obviously, I didn't see any of it because like, I wouldn't have recognized it if I saw it, but maybe you saw some stuff in this gameplay that is new to you if you are a fan of the series. If you're not a fan, but this has kind of tickled you, the game comes out on Saturday on the 3DS, so you can check it out. All right, that's it for today's episode of Pocket My Pocketeers. Nick Bayer. It's, it's really pretty. I'm really surprised. It looks really good. It's so hard to tell. Can we just film the whole thing like this? I feel like it shows better. I'm gonna start again. Like it now?